What's up everybody, it's Skid that we're going to be using the dual wield metal pedal whips. And uh, yeah, I, these weapons are kind of underrated, I really haven't seen very many people using these. I got my ass kicked by an NPC using them and I thought they're pretty good, so let's see. So um, yeah, the pedals are pretty good, uh, yeah, see ya, see ya. Let's see what we have today, and it's another Guts Buster Sword user. Who would have fucking guessed? It's one of the same four weapons I've been fighting over and over. Ah, oh, great. Absolutely phenomenal. And he's got the pocket Sam weapon art. I, I, like, I, at least it's not Bloodhound stuff. Jump this stupid fucking running R1. The guy's wielding the table that the Last Supper was taking place on. Come here. You can't escape from me. Alright. Fucking knives. I'm just gonna keep him with these tactical steak knives. Wait a minute, Tomar. Is it Tomar one of the only plays guys? Or am I thinking of someone else? I don't know. Well, all ultras are pieces of shit. Well, that may be the case. I still kind of worry about ultra users when I first see them, because I wonder what kind of cockamamie malarkey they've got up their sleeve. Especially in Elden Ring. I always wonder what kind of weird bullshit someone's got to pull out their ass. Like some Harry Houdini type shit. Oh no, you cannot punish these whips that way, my friend. Where there's a whip, there's a way, but that's not the way. I like how you like that one shot ability, that glintstone pebble bullshit. My whip simply did not agree with it. Oh, what a powerful image. This is what the guy saw right before the darkness took him, right before he faded into the ether and was freed from this mortal coil. This is the last thing he saw. My god. It seems I have some of the furry. One of the fur folk, one of the beast kin, one of the sheep shaggers. I mean, they have many names, but you know who I'm talking about. Let's have a fucking showdown. Oh, he's doing the crotch walking bullshit. Alright, any mercy that was in my heart, any pity at all, was just pulverized by that action. Oh, and sit down, Knight Artorius. Woo! Woo! Look at that damage, my word. My goodness gracious, my great googly moogly. Fucking calm down, Artorius. Calm down. I gotta give him a point down, though, because he's a furry. Can you imagine if they added, like, proxy chat to Dark Souls? What a fucking absolute just wasteland this game would be. It would be a fucking... It'd be just... It would just be pure chaos. Like, that last guy I killed, that furry, would probably, like, a woo at me as he was fading into the ether. It would be fucking terrifying. I'd be for a terrifying experience as an invader, too, because, like, me and my friends would also do, like, the African click speak. Do some, like, Mongolian throat singing. Like, imagine it, like, you're fighting, and, like, in the distance you hear, right. And it just gets, like, louder and louder as it gets close. That'd be fucking horrifying. It'd be, a, like, a horror movie. This man's playing like- I, I think this must be the f Oh, my- my fucking son! Oh, my poor boy, just sit down. Gave him the tactical knife. Oh, this guy must have been playing Dark Souls 1 because he was going for backstabs. <laughs> so many people's always a fun guessing game. It's like one of those carnival prizes. I know this man's making it in here. I just don't- Oh, there he is. Shit. Yeah, but these are really always like carnival pride, like the, the, one, the one with the metal hook and all the plushies that you can win. You just never know what you're gonna get. We got the minor 49er here with his double pickaxe build. It's fucking, it's cool. This man's trying to go all John Henry on me. Right, double whips versus double picks. And, we win. and me, I win that trade because this game's very well made. The metal pedals, and he was stun locked into that entire combo. What a fucking fun experience that must have been for him. And what a powerful image he has to look up at. Imagine looking up at this. And would you look at that? The 50th fucking person I fought today with Ronnie's hat on. It's like herpes right in the center of my asshole. I can't get rid of it. Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Didn't even give me the time of day. Dual sides versus double whips, he wouldn't even do it. Although if I saw my character, I wouldn't want to fight me either. What do we got this time? Another fucking Guts Buster Sword user. Fucking crazy. I love Lean. I still haven't completely figured out what the fuck Lean is. I know it's some new fancy way to get yourself fucked up. Uh, let's do this shit. Back in my day, we just chugged Listerine. 
That's how we did back in 2016 before any of us were 21. Just butt chug some fucking Listerine bottles like real men. Look at this guy, consuming fucking poffins, abusing substances, right here in the middle of the fight. Wonderful. I wonder, do people just keep like a Batman utility belt of poffins in their pocket? Just for a fucking occasion like this, just in case they're about to get bled. Is it that bad? It's whatever though. It's whatever. He tried to punch me running a straight line like Usain Bolt with a jumping attack. It's incredible. Alright, fully charged. He made the right call. If he'd rolled into me, that would've been it. This guy just said, you know what, where there's a whip, there's a way. I'm about to find the way. But, not likely. I'm the fucking whip master, I'm about to whip it real good. Just fucking call me a whole ass can of ready whip shit. I tried to get fancy, I was gonna like jump backwards and hit him with a double whip since it's basically like having a couple of mini Uzis. Yeah, some people say they're gonna open up a can of whoop ass, I'm opening up a can of ready whip. Because this whip is ready. Maybe. Now, Bloodhound Step is probably like the bane of my existence here. Why would you look at that? The skill and ability. And he tried to buff. The guy tried to buff mid fight. I respect that so much. That was so stupid. It takes a really, really low room temperature IQ to do something like that. Let's rock and roll. We got ourselves a Crucible Knight cosplayer. So fucking cool fighting the same fucking knight over and over and over again. And everyone that does this fucking sucks. This fight could last 30 seconds and he'll spend the first 10 seconds of it buffing. It's fucking ridiculous. And look at this. This is all people throw. I apologize for the Discord pings. I know I heard that too. I fucking deeply apologize. I think I know who the lobotomite that's messaging me is and he likes to send things in single text for some fucking reason. Anyway. The Crucible Knight cosplayers are fucking shit. And another thing that shit is people who play this game. They will buff for 15 fucking seconds to make it to where they can win the fight instantly. And it's just running R1s because almost nothing... It, there's no con, like, confirm on almost any regular R1 in the game. So it's not really safe to go for anything other than this. Just this shit right here. Look at this. No reason to go for regular R1 or try to roll catch me. Fuck that. No risk reward there. I'll just keep throwing running R1s till the cows come home. But when the cows come home, come home it'll be an empty home. Because the Crucible Knight cosplayer has been eaten. <laughs> uh, send it to me through, uh, drop and I'll, I'll rip them up. You will not. I'm gonna be a real man. I'm gonna include every Discord ping in this fucking video. But what the fuck is this? This man's the most aggressive man on the planet. I must have like killed him in the past life or something. Like slapped his mother for her subpar apple pie recipe. This guy is fucking angry. This guy is pissed. He came here with a head full of steam. Uh, but these whips are an absolute meme. Fuck it, just it, it's all it takes. Just one fuck up. That's it. Jesus. Okay, jet meme Sam. Let's rock and roll. Is that a Rivers of Blood? I'm sure it is. I'm almost fucking oh. positive this guy and his Glinda the Good Fairy Bubble are gonna be running Rivers of Blood. And there it is. Unfortunately for him, I have Bloodhound Step, which is another BS piece of tech this game has fucking ushered into this age. Oh, that would've been really cool. Ooh, fancy! It also hits really hard, but it's kind of a waste if you already have Rivers of Blood. And the fucking bubble blowing bitch has lost his ba fucking baby bubble. We keep on rolling. Like, he's eventually gonna throw it, right? Like, he's got to. Like, Rivers of Blood users have an itchy trigger. Ah, yeah, there it is. The itchy trigger finger. But I've got Bloodhound Step. And these knives to pressure him. What will you do, Jet Meme Sam? And I faint. Yeah. You're pretty good. I'm getting bugged driving up and down the same old strip. I gotta find a new place where the kids are hip. Do 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 do. You take some cum and some shit and some fucking some piss and then you put it in your mouth and shit it all out. I get around, round, round, round. I get around. No, no. If any of you are paying attention to the fight that's going on in the background, this is actually a mirror match. This guy's also using the metal pedals. So that's, uh, 
pretty cool. I don't really see very many other people using these. I don't know if you guys have encountered a ton of people wielding these weapons. And he has Sonic screeched my ass to the ground. Just fucking blasted me to the ground with nothing more than the power of his voice. Like an angry Karen just bombarding a poor Walmart cashier. This man is a professional cock operator. I'm just gonna take the W. Now I can keep on trying to space him. Fuck that noise. It was cool fighting him though, so GG. Ha <laughs>